Hi guys, it's Monday. Welcome to a new weekly reading. Do not make any progress in any other books. I've only made progress in the audiobook um, Where I Used to Be by Amber Smith. I did not make any progress in this, which I'm very sad about because it's an easy book. I brought it with me out because we went to go get food and I still didn't make any progress, which kind of sucks. But I'm on page 26, so I'm going to try to finish this today. I'm going to try to not finish this because it's a lot but like read most of it i'm going to try to read as much as i can of this and i want to start harry potter and the order of the phoenix tomorrow so not today and i also want to continue listening to the audiobook of the way i used to be i still need to post last week's vlog like i haven't posted it yet well it's gonna be up by the time you see this but present day like right now i haven't posted it um so that's basically how life is going right now. I wanted to get dressed, but I decided not to because I'm just not feeling it. I'm just going to go clean while listening to my audiobook and I'll update you. Okay guys, it is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. And I just finished Drama by Brandon Tonkemeyer and Tonkemeyer. It was such a cute, like, book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I didn't remember enjoying it as much. Like, I didn't, I don't remember enjoying it as much as I did this time. I did not know this book had LGBTQ or LGBTQ. I did not know that that was included in this book. And the romance was so cute. Like, I rarely annotate my um graphic novels but i annotated this one so I, that obviously means something i really 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 liked this book and i didn't only think about it as a kid it kind of felt like a teen a graphic novel to be honest because mature like you see that they, they were <laughs> they liked each other it's my first book of this week hopefully it won't be my last book i finished this week but yet, I'm so sad to put this down and I loved it so much. Yesterday I started looking through this um, dictionary, medical dictionary. I did not know that this was a medical dictionary. I should have just read the title. I just assumed it was a dictionary. But yes, I was looking through it and then there's a bunch of like stuff on like medical parts of your body. And there's pictures. I did not know that there was pictures. It even tells you how to like give CPR. I have... 20 minutes before I have to do schoolwork, so I think I'm going to pick something up to read. Uh, I think we're going to read some of Tales of Deshbrook. So I'm going to try to make some progress in this before I do some schoolwork. But for now, that's what I'm doing. And I might start Harry Potter later, but we'll see. Okay, guys, it is Wednesday. My hair is looking weird. But last night, I did a dumb thing and decided to start a new book, even though I knew I'm already in the middle of a lot of books. It's a new model by Ashley Graham. I lost the dust jacket, ruined the cover, stuff like that. So I'm loving it so far. I have like six or seven tabs in it so far. I'm only on page eight, which doesn't sound like a lot, but she also had an introduction and she didn't count her introduction as pages. And her introduction was like 10 pages long. So I'm basically on page 18, but according to this, I'm not. I'm going to do some journaling. I think I'm going to watch a movie from my stack of movies, my DVD movies, while I'm journaling. But we'll see. I might not, but I think I am going to. I'll let you know what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this book so far. I think it's a five-star read so far, but I'm only like on page 18, so how would I know? Sorry for the heater in the background, but it is April 30th. That means it's the last day of April. So I'm going to try to prioritize these like finishing these three books the main book i want to finish today though is the other rolling girl i really really need to finish this because i've been reading this book for like a month now and i am just trying to get through it i don't know why i keep 
like i don't know why i haven't finished this yet i honestly have no excuse on page 356 which is a little bit more than halfway through next book i want to finish is the tales of Despero um by kate d camilla i can only read so much in a day like you don't understand and then i also have other things to do like stuff the book i want to finish is a new model which i started this yesterday by ashley graham i'm on page eight out of 198 so 200 pages but again if i don't finish this i'm not gonna be mad the last book i want to finish is the way it used to be by amber smith which is my audiobook um i do have the physical copy but it's like on my um nook like it's um yeah but yeah those are the four books including the audiobook that i want to um finish today i also ordered some books <laughs> i have an addiction to um buying books i have ordered like seven books and they're on their way i ordered I'll do a haul. I'm not going to tell you the books I've um, ordered because I'm just going to show you them when they come. And this morning I started Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, I'm on page 10, so not that far at all. I'm reading this physically so far, but if I get tired of reading, reading it physically, I'll just look for like an audiobook, like somebody reading the chapter on YouTube because on Scribd or Scribd, they don't have... The harry potter audiobook which kind of frustrates me so what i'm doing to annotate this because this is my library's copy i bought these metal tabs on amazon place to tab tab it and then um later in my physical copy i'm going to go to all the spots in the book and then i'm just going to annotate it with my actual tabs i've started journaling um i saw this um a lot of booktubers are doing it like a lot of people are journaling so i'm like let me let me start this is my journal i'm not good at coloring or drawing i just do it for fun i'm not trying to do it to impress anybody i'm just doing it for my own liking if you want me to do a reading journal tour if you want me to show you how it looks like let me know in the comments and i'll do a video on that or i'll include it in next week's vlog but just let me know it's 11 12 p.m well no afternoon yeah so it's 11 in the afternoon book two because i don't feel like being productive but yeah, I'm gonna go watch some booktube, and then at 1 o'clock, I'm gonna work out. So, I should update you guys, like, around 2, and that's when I'll start reading. I also have to do schoolwork for, like, I'm gonna do that later. Like, I can do that later. guys sorry for the noise in the background i'm still reading a new model on page 40 i'm really really loving this book like i don't like i don't even want to put it down and it's so freaking crazy because i've never really felt that way about a book i am so confused on my feelings right now i love this book because it's just actually talking about how she grew up and her relationship with her mom and dad and how it wasn't always perfect and like how, yes, it's normal to have fights, and she also describes how normal it, like, there's so many relatable things in here, and she also talks about body positivity, and how it's okay to be different, it's okay to be you, like, everybody's beautiful, and she also shows that it's not easy being confident, she just talks about a lot of things that a lot of people struggle with, and a lot of people don't touch base on in books, I think, like, this book is so amazing, bro. I definitely recommend it, especially if you're having trouble with self-confidence and just body positivity, body shaming. This is an amazing book, I swear. I'm enjoying it so much. But I have to put it down for now because I have to go work out. I don't even have words. I just definitely recommend this book. If you're looking for mm, this book, this book. But yes. I'm just left out of words. I don't even want to go work out because I want to read. Oh my god, I honestly, guys, honestly, I'm telling you, I've never felt this way about a book. Like, books are meant, but I actually, like, this feels like I'm watching a Netflix series, like, binge watching. Like, anyways, I'm gonna go work out.
recommend. For no reason at all. And ever since, we're not allowed to leave the cave. Not even to see the stars. So, um, I'm not gonna read yet. I think I'm gonna do some journaling. Okay, guys, so I'm decided that I'm going to journal because I have to add some stuff into my journal. Um, but I also want to finish this book, so I'm gonna do multitasking and I'm going to listen to the audiobook of this while I am journaling. spread i didn't color down here because i don't know if i'm gonna add another show here but i added handy Bammy, and then i did this setup for the princess binge so i just did that i listened to some of the audiobook um but i think now i'm going to take a break i don't know what i'm gonna do right now i think i'm gonna watch some um book too okay guys sorry for my hair it is the next day um friday I know I said my main priority was to finish this, but there's so much left, and for some reason I'm just not in the historical fiction mood, and I don't want to force myself to read anything that I don't want to, because then that will cause the reading slumps. But I also don't want to DNF it, because like I'm really far away, like through, and I don't want to have read that for nothing. But I'm also not gonna be able to read this next week, because next week I'm doing read a on a blue book a -thon. I'm just doing um the you can only read blue books so I can't read this next week but I'm also not in the mood to read this now so I think I want to save this for the next week like the week after next week we're gonna see if I'm actually interested I think I need a break from this um but I'm actually happy that I get a break from that so my main priority is to only finish this book. I know I want to finish it by May 1st, but basically no challenges, or I don't have to start a new book until May 4th. So I have the rest of this weekend to finish this book. I have to do school today. I don't want to do school to be honest, but that's what it is. I just watched some Disney Junior shows. Is it just me? Like when I was little, I would wake up and watch Disney Junior shows and it was so comforting. So I still do that because it just makes my morning even better and it just wakes me up. It's so comforting. I watched an episode of Handy Manny and two episodes of Doc McStuffin. Just wanted to let y'all know. Basically, yeah, that's how my morning is going. I think I'm going to make breakfast. I don't know.
we'll see i think i'm gonna go edit some of this vlog so it's not a lot to um edit on sunday hey my main focus is just to finish these two books before i have to start the read a ton of blue bookathon on monday so i'm just trying to get through these two and potentially my audiobook um yeah sorry that my hair's a mess i just didn't feel like fixing it but basically today i'm just going to try to get through these two books hopefully i can Okay guys, so I've been reading, I don't even know what time it is, a little more than halfway through. I'm on page 104. I'm enjoying it. It's still really, really good. I love that there's also pictures. This little section of pictures. Let's her husband. It's so cute because she also explains like, how she met her husband and how at first she didn't really like him but then she like i, don't know. I think it's five o'clock and i'm getting hungry so i think so i'm gonna clean up my room real quick i'm gonna go eat work out and then i'm gonna get back to reading it because i'm gonna try to finish this tonight i think i only have i have 96 pages left of this book so i definitely think i could finish it and after i finish this i also want to try to get some schoolwork done um, and I do want to do some journaling. I'm definitely going to end the vlog today because I like ending the vlogs on Saturdays. So therefore, I have like all Sunday to edit the vlog and post it. Let's see how that goes. This is the first movie that I watched, which is Alice in Wonderland. I gave it three stars soon, so I'm just gonna, when I get my new journal, I'm just gonna transfer everything from this journal to the other journal more organized. This is not really organized because I already have a June spread and I'm going back to May, so I did not do this right, but it's okay, because I'll just get my new journal soon, but yeah. Journaling, and I think I'm also gonna do that with my to continue, so I can finish the last, like, 96 pages I have. Rubber cream, sheet, and strawberries. My diffuser's on, and I'm gonna watch some Everybody Loves Raymond in the background, so. guys so i um am still reading this i haven't finished it i'm on page 124 so i legit have not even that much left um i'm definitely going to finish it tonight and if not tonight tomorrow morning but i'm going to end the vlog here because i just want to post this and get like edit and post this and get over with it while i'm posting this video i'm just going to continue reading this I'll update you next week on my initial and final thoughts on this book, and I'll just tell you if I recommend it, which I definitely do so far, but anything could happen in the last few pages. Next week, I'm going to be doing the Blue Readathon or the Read a Ton of Blue Booksathon, um, hosted by a Instagrammer. I will talk about it in more details in next week's vlog, but thanks for joining. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, like if you want, and I'm also going to be doing a 24 hour readathon, but that's like next week, next weekend. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching.